Hey guys, how's it going? Omar here with another player review. Today I'm reviewing uh, first in form Riyad Mahrez. I know his second in form just dropped last night. I actually had some of these clips from before and I thought this is a perfect time to put it out since like his uh, the first in form's price has dropped quite a bit. He's going for on the mid 60s. So yeah guys, let me give you guys a breakdown. Start off with guys, Kem style Hunter. Guys, a Hunter with him makes a huge difference because his dribbling is so good. You add the pace, he actually feels stupid quick and you know gives him the shot a uh, shot up. Uh, so yeah guys how does he feel in the game so pace 86 pace 89 acceleration the notable style with the camp boost guys he feels proper quick no no pace issues at all the acceleration actually feels like mid 90s guys the acceleration is game changer I, and you guys know his dribbling is sick so that just makes it uh, you know it makes his pace much better so overall pace is great no issues at all uh, acceleration a plus then we move on to his shooting now the stats aren't all that obviously it's boosted by the chem cell and but guys you guys will see he's got a dirty finish so you'll see i'll score some nice goals with him obviously he's not like super clinical so he is gonna miss the odd chance but other than that in and around the box is good and his finish shot guys it's mean he's got the four star weak foot so you know not too many issues and it's just great on the wing guys because you know you can use his weak foot to sort of cross things like that and then obviously you cut inside and you guys will see some of the finesse goals i scored insane guys the shot is i'd say he's got a very good overall shot like someone like raheem sterling has good finishing and stuff but this guy you know the outside the box long shots things like that he's got 83 long shots so yeah and 87 curves so his finish shot disgusting guys other than that guys we get to his dribbling guys it's something else like this he's the closest player to neymar in terms of feel i'm just gonna say that you know like <laughs> that's all i gotta say other than that guys passing is good too you guys see i get a lot of assists you know gets in good positions uh it's just his, the fact that you know his dribbling is good he's so good on the ball he can just get into a good position even though he's got medium medium work rates it's no issue at all you guys will see even defensively uh, look at how many like sort of uh, chances i create just from pressing the back line and stuff so work rates are good passing two guys no issue at all very creative uh and then other than that guy we move to the physicality so 78 stamina the strength and stuff you guys know going into the card is not going to be great stamina guys very solid no issue at all i think it's because of the work rates maybe he doesn't run around too much so stamina is no issue at all last all game so yeah guys what's my verdict of this card guys in my opinion he's the best right winger in the premier league now obviously like you guys have seen i've done a review on muhammad salah i really like salah but i think salah plays better as a striker if you want someone as an out and out winger who's good at dribble he's quick you know he can cross he can you know finesse shots all that and he has a four star weak foot five star skills guys for me he's the guy i think he's better than sterling and now his price has 60 around the mid 60s great value so yeah guys i hope you guys uh found the review useful please like and subscribe and i'll see y'all soon